Yes guys, welcome back to 7 Golf and welcome back to the hashtag United Golf Day 3.0. It's the third time we've done this one. It's always been a video you guys have really, really enjoyed. We've got some of your favourite hashtag United players down here today for, as ever, the classic Texas Scramble team format. Four teams of four, but lots of individual prizes to be won as well. We've got longest drive, we've got nearest to pin, we're also filming today a little putting penalty, this Christmas special if you like. Not sure whether that's up now already or going up after this video, I'll figure that one out later. But guys, if you, go, if you do like a little bit of hashtag United Golf, make sure you drop a like on this video. And for those of you that don't know, Texas Scramble is a great event for people playing golf for the first time. You basically, as a team, you all hit, the, you all hit your tee shots and your approach shots and you only go and use the best ball. There's links in the description, find out more about that format. Okay, so prizes for the boys to win, but you know we like to do little giveaways on the Seven Golf channel. So guys, there's a chance for you guys to win in this video as well. Drop a comment down below right now and let me know who you think is your player of the decade and a reason why. Uh, obviously, leave me a way of contacting you, your Instagram or your Twitter. I'm gonna pick two of you to win a little prize. I'm gonna give away a tailor-made wedge for one of you as well and a pair of Adidas golf shoes as well. So comment below right now, your player of the decade. Enjoy this video, guys. Let's go and meet the boys. Okay, so, and in the interest of keeping things a little bit different this year, I've gone and chopped myself, guys. I've chopped myself down to a scratch handicap. I am making the uh, the team up of Team 1, which is myself, Phil Martin, of 13, Stevie CB, 21, Jamie Hersett. We've cut massively. He wants a 36 handicap. And if you've just seen him hit that drive, there's absolutely no way the boys will let us get away with that. So we've actually cut him after a little team trip to Top Golf recently. He's going to play off 24, his first ever round of golf. But after the, the state of that drive, 24 might be generous as, it's, as it is. Great stuff from Jamie Hersett off the tee there. So that means that team one is going to have an overall handicap of 5.8. So how are we going to do this, guys? Is each team is going to start that much under par. So basically, on the first tee, we are 5.8 under par. Right around about here, we did take Jamie's drive. It's a sensational drive right down the right-hand side. And of course, in a Texas scramble, you need to take at least four drives from everybody. Jamie, first time ever on the golf course today, ripped one down there, was taking his drive. And then, guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm gutted. Because I've hit the approach in. It hit the pin smash back and he's gone there we've got that for birdie to get this off and running oh sebi sebi you've got to not hit that. those great that. birdie chance to convert not, not to be on this occasion stevie cb can he get team one off to a flyer yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> he can as well okay and here we have team two we've got luke wilson dawson jwl and sam adams luke the lowest handicapper in team two he's off seven uh, Dawson 18, JWR off 30, and Sam Adams off 20 means their team handicap is minus 7.5 or 7.5. So they start minus 7.5 under par. Team 3 made up of Ryan Adams of 13, Sam Biles 14, ACW off 20, and then Spencer, very new to golf, as we said, is off 36. Give them a team handicap of 8.3. Here's a chance to get a birdie on the first. Ryan Adams, can he convert for team 3? He can! <laughs> And there we go, team three has joined the birdie bus early doors as well. They are off and running. And team four, we have George Irvine, 11 handicap. Zach Clark, 18. Will Slaughter, Physio Will, 22. And George Valentine, 36. Gives them a team handicap of 8.7. Team one have started on fire. Stevie Seabree, we take my drive, and he's hit this one into here. We've got no more than six feet left for back-to-back -back birdies to start. And Phil Martin is absolutely loving it. Oh, it's two putts out of two for Stevie CB. <laughs> Easy game. Loving the game. Easy game. New update from Team 4. Skipper, what's your thoughts on that one? I just wish this was closer to the pin. Team 4 have started pretty solid there. Got himself under par back early. Back to back birdies. Got a little chance here to make it three in a row. Come on, Team 4. Because... Right, we've faulted here though on the third. Very long par four. We had 190 yards in. We've all missed the green. Now up and down needed to pass. Keep this good start going. Sammy Biles with long range. Oh, he's not quite got it to the hole. Good effort there from Sam. Very solid player. And that'll be a little par for team three. Birdie par par. And as we normally say in Texas Scramble, you know, bogeys are not really going to get it done. Even with the higher handicaps, you 
don't want to have too many bogeys on your scorecard if you can avoid it. And here's a putt for George Irvin to avoid it. Just that. Oh, he's not got it there. And that is going to be a bogey. He's going to damper the progress of otherwise a good start from Team 4. That is not what you want in scramble, boys. Right, so we've reached the fourth hole. This is the first of the individual challenges, the nearest to pin. We've got 115 yards here. Winner of this is winning a brand new tailor-made wedge, which is very exciting. I'm going to lead us off here, boys. We're doing okay in the team so far. Little pitching wedge for me, P790. CVCV, 9-9. Let's see how it goes. Jamie, that's it. I'm using a seven. Phil Martin, AKA the White Sedan, turning back the time for another hashtag golf day. Let's do this, 9-9. And they're off and running. Oh, oh, some good-looking shots in there, but no, none of them have hit the green. Ryan Adams, brother. I'm going for a pitching wedge. Jesse Wallerlassen. I'm using a uh, golf club. John Dawson. I think it's a nine-iron. The Wilson wedge. Not the longest hole today, but a very wet mat used. And tell you what, it's proven a problem, but not for Luke Wilson. That's a decent shot in there. That's the marker to beat. Spencer, AK Spencer FC, AK Spend Doggy Dog, AKA the love child of Fred Couples and Jim Furyk. And I'm going to hit a nine iron. Wow, what a combination that is he's gone with. <laughs> oh, and a less spectacular shot from <laughs> Speddy Boy there. Ben on golf, subscribe. Andy, hashtag OG number one, hitting a pitching wedge. Hopefully further than Spen. Hopefully indeed. Andy normally pretty good with the wedge, and that's on a pretty good line as well. Looks like it might be going just a little bit long and right. And yes, it has. Okay, on the green though. Not inside Luke Wilson so far. Sand balls, uh, I'm going to hit a pitching wedge and also stand in a puddle at the same time. Oh, I swear. <laughs> Ryan Adams, hashtag nine, next level squad, pitching wedge. Ryan Adams, send one up there. It's not on a bad line. Is it cutting back enough? No, he's missed the green left. George Valentine, pitching wedge. Getting on the green. George Evan, pitching wedge. Zach Clark, 50 degree wedge. Will Slaughter, pitching wedge. And no one from Team 4 hits the green, which means Luke Wilson is your winner of that brand new tailor-made wedge. Well played, Luke. However, going back to Team 3 on that par 3, the nearest to pin. Oh, Ryan Adams from long range. I tell you what, none of them have won the nearest to pin, but they've made a birdie there. Fantastic stuff to send them to two under par. Well played, Ryan. Great putt from long range. Wasn't a very good showing from many in that nearest the pin. However, we're back in business now. Three birdies, one bogey for us. It's never good in Texas Scramble, but we've got 115 in here. We're trying to stick it in close. Give ourselves another birdie look. Pitching wedge for me. A little right. Dancing. There's room inside that, boys, I think. Also today, I've got a new toy with me. My new Stuart Golf follow trolley, check this out. No hands on the button, just following me. Link to the control, stop, and carry on. How decent is that? Then we need your time to hit a shot. Simply stop, stick it on, get your club out, and hit. I've got a new name for him, Stewie Boy. Come on, Stu. Speaking of decent, here's a putt from long range from Sebi Boy and myself oh to make another birdie. He's got it. And the fist pumps all round. Team one go to three under par gross. We don't mind that. We're flying now. Come on. Luke Wilson, tell you what, this guy hits it a long way, but he's also got soft hands for a big man. That's a nice, tidy little chip down there. It's rolled on a little bit though. Can Don John Dawson improve on that? Elected for the putter. Spider Mini, he's got it down there. Team two looking to convert a nice par here, not drop a shot. Luke Wilson with the par. Oh, oh, I tell you what, he's pushed that right. Can Jesse tidy up though? He can. Oh, a little look down at the camera. Well played, Jesse. Very, very nice putt there. Save the par. And I think he's having a bit of a stick at his teammates there. Andy Cadewatt does not like that one. That is not going to get there. Ryan Adams made a long putt earlier. Can't sink another one, can he? Ooh, that is inches. And Sam Bowles will tidy that one up as a par for Team 3. Longest drive. Winner gets an M5. I've already got one. But I tell you what, if I win it, it's going to one of you. How about that? OK, I've got some bad news, guys. Spoiler alert, I don't win it. I think a pretty good one down there, my little draw. But it's just missed the fairway left. 
So no winning there. However, remember, there is a giveaway for you guys. Not just the boys winning the prizes kindly donated by Adidas Golf and Taylor Made for the overall, the nearest to pin and the longest drive. Prizes for you guys as well. Remember, comment down below your player of the decade. And leave me a way of contacting you and I'll pick someone to also win some lovely goodies from Adidas Golf and Taylor Made. Well, the rest of the team won to hit some good ones down there, but none in the fairway so far. And likewise, some of the boys from Team 2. But here's John Dawson, and he has hit a very oh, decent yeah. drive down there. A little power fade down the left, and that is in the fairway. And he's borrowed Luke Wilson's M5 to do it. Might be winning an M5 his own with a drive like that. <laughs> but not bad from the boys there from Team 3, but none threatening John Dawson's. ACW is started left. Not coming back. Little four shout, and uh, yeah, Andy, you won't be getting the M5 either, I'm afraid. Can anyone in Team 4 rival Dawson's drive? No, none of those three can. They're all going to be missing the fairway, and Zach Clark. <laughs> well, <laughs> the less said about that, the better. And speaking of very good, this will be a very good putt for Spencer to make for Team 3 on hole 14. Oh, it's just slipped out on the right. They're going to have another look at it here for Sam Biles. Can he get a read from Spence putt? Oh. He hasn't made it either. A little leap from Sam, though. Quite enjoyed that one. Team one are absolutely flying right now on a very, very good score. But they're in trouble here. Going to need to hold out to save par here and keep the scorecard blemish free. Sebi Boy with a chip down there. Oh, I thought he had. I thought he had. And that was very nearly a great par save. But team one dropping a shot at just the wrong moment. Whereas the opposite's happening here with team two. They've made a part of the great time. Yeah! Ryan Adams now. Oh, they're flying in. Team three, absolutely flying. They are now in an absolutely pole position. Okay, so we've got to the 18th. Myself and my team, team one. We are, are we five under now? So we dropped a shot, didn't we? Five under. We're five under gross, dropped a shot. So we're about, how far? 62. 62 yards into the flag. All got to go, we've all used all our drives. Everything's worked out perfect. We can finish one more birdie, six under could be hard okay, to catch. Okay, this is it then. Can they make that birdie? Six like under it. gross would be like a very a good winning score oh, yeah, of 11.8 yeah. under if they can do it. Shame they dropped that shot. Sebi boy, can he improve on Phil Martin's shot in here? Tell you what, that's nice and pin high, but a bit yeah. of a break on that yeah, part. Be interested to see which one they go dancing. for. And they've gone for Phil's part and it's on its way. Ooh, oh, okay. okay. This is it then. To so set a score in the clubhouse. Sebi boy, make it. Get you back to six under gross. 11.8 under overall. It's on its does way. It, it? Surely not. Yeah. He has. Yeah. <laughs> and the boys are loving it. Back to six under. 11.8 gross overall. And that is the score to be in the clubhouse. Luke Wilson to finish off for team two. A pretty solid respectable. Would have been for a three under gross. 10.5 under total. But instead it's going to be a little tapping par that John Dawson converts. They finished 9.5 under par overall. And same for Team 4, they started so well but fell away a little bit towards the back nine, a little par on the 18th, finishes them level par gross, minus 8.7 overall. But that putt from Ryan Adams has put Team 3 in absolutely pole position. They are currently 11.3 under par overall. A birdie here on the 18th wins it for them by 0.5 of a shot. They stop the streak, Sam Biles trying to get the boys up and down. He works on a good line, he likes it. Like it. He likes it. Is it up? Oh, Sammy Biles. Unbelievable shot from the lad. Right, the maths has been checked. Sam Biles, this is it for the win. Spenny Boy down there checking a the line at it. No, he's not got it there. But that is the par save, but par's nothing. Spen, can he win it for the boys? Oh, went for a T and in. That would have been controversial if that had ended up in. But it's simply down to this. ACW for the win! Wow. Look at the celebrations, the smiles on the faces. They've stopped Sebi Boy completing the hat trick. I might have miscounted. I'll take that all day long. Birdie, birdie, the finish on the last two That is unbelievable. What a shot in. Well, they've done it. There we are, guys. You've got your winners. Well played. What a dramatic finish. Absolutely fantastic.
Okay, so we are done. That does it for the third installment of the Hashtag United Golf Day. And my crown has been taken. I wanted the hat trick, but as we said, we, we did a real good job on my handicap this time. I played off scratch. So there's my excuse for you right there. Uh, we gave away a lot of shots off our, off our team, but I'm delighted that the boys won it in such an amazing style. Massive thank you to Fox Hills for having us down here. The course is amazing. There's actually three golf courses here and an incredible short game area. If you get a chance, I thoroughly recommend you coming and checking it out. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Congratulations to Luke for winning the nearest to pin, Dawson for winning the longest drive, and for Ryan's team for picking up the overall team event. They've got some lovely prizes coming their way. Guys, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please do not forget to drop a like on it. Subscribe for more content, get that notification, ring that bell, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I think I might have miscounted, boys. I might have miscounted. Hey, I'll take that all day long. Birdie, birdie to finish on the last two That holes. is unbelievable. Oh. What a shot in. Right, Fantastic. Well played, boys.